Let's see how we can build a computer vision model in just a few minutes. This new tool here from Roboflow called Rapid, they have just released it, but it's pretty much just powered by SAM free model. So we can prompt whatever objects that we want to detect with our computer vision model, and we're going to see how to set it up. This is a very good foundation model to get quick use cases, quick projects and ideas up and running where you can just prompt it, it will detect the objects, then you can use that model, you can host it, you can set up workflows, you can create your own custom workflows and start use the model in just five, 10 minutes. And then you can do your data flywheel where you take all images from your inference, upload them to Roboflow, start build out your data set. So this just makes it way faster to get started with, but also reduce so much manual work on the labeling. Let's just jump straight into it. We have opened it up here with Roboflow Rapid. I've uploaded a video file. So this is pretty much just boxes running on a conveyor belt. What I'm going to type in is just box. We could type in bags, so you can have multiple different objects. Let's maybe just try with two objects. So now it's going to find the boxes and also bags if they are available. We can see we already have the results. You can run it on the entire video. On the right side, you can see how many objects do we have. And we can also tune the confidence score here if you have too many detections or not detecting enough. So I think it's probably probably pretty good here in the middle, like these are actually like boxes in the background, we might not be interested in them. So we might need to have like a region of interest inside our conveyor belt. And then we can create a tracking system where we're counting how many boxes are actually like going through our conveyor belt. So this is all we have to do. You can run multiple videos on the left side, but let's just run it now on the video. It's going to find the objects, track them throughout the whole video sequence here, and we can deploy this model directly. We'll get an endpoint that can be tested with Python, curl, whatever that you're using. You can also use the model on your own, and then you can start build out your own computer vision models, but just having something up and running quick, it's so useful and then in parallel you can work on the business use cases while optimizing the results getting better mask and so on but if you just have a, a, a tracking system counting how many boxes are going out on this conveyor belt this is already more than fine for that then if you want to run faster inference for example this is a foundation model so it's really good at it's a very general model it's a very big foundational model so its purpose is not real time inference on an s device for example but it's really good at building out your data set this is going to be significantly faster even if you're using the auto labeling tools from roboflow where you have to clip the object click the objects modify the mask refine them and so on but pretty much now all we have to do is just pop this and use the model it's already running more than fine so it'll just take a few minutes and then the model is ready to go here we have some different programming languages that you can use we have you can integrate it you can test on more files you can also download the video so you can share it with your friends colleagues or wherever so they have examples for python javascript fetch if you just want to build it into your web app here you could have like your ml workflows the automation pipelines built out in python it could also just be yeah, that you have your web app backend system built out in python so all we have to do is just from the inference SDK from Roboflow, we have the inference HTTP client, we send a request to, we get the response back. All we need is just the URL, our API key, and then we have our workspace workflow, and then we just need to pass in our image. So this is very easy. You can just drop this into your code editor. We have the JavaScript fetch, very, very similar as well. And here you just have for testing, scripting, automation, just testing out if the endpoint is working. We just have our curl request. Just need to swap out the image URL and that's pretty much it. So let's go over here to the left. You can open up the workflows from Roboflow where you can build out your own custom workflows. That's also a pretty cool one. I have videos covering everything in detail for that, like how we can set up our line crossing stuff. All different types of workflows pretty much cover everything in here. So you can add a model that you have deployed. You can deploy it on serverless api hosted api your dedic own dedicated deployment your own local device then you can download the inference app and you can just run on your local system and then you do request and responses back pretty much just api calls to your endpoint on your local machine so once we're inside the workflow we can just start with a template so you can have like sam free with prompts if you just want to use a standard one but a very cool use case is just the active learning pipeline which is pretty much just one of the best ones that i have been using or also just for this specific use case. So what you would do, you would go in here, you will wait on the model to be connected and then you can hook it up. 
So now we have a workflow up and running with our same model. We have the bounding box visualization. It's going to upload the images to RoboFlow. We have the label visualizations. All we have to do is just test our workflow. This is the result that we get out if we just upload a new image or video. So you can just drop it in here. You can connect all these other different sources. We get the response. We also have the JSON response that you can extract the results from. So you can just hit run. It will go through to everything. You can also hit deploy and then you can start work with it in your own environment. You can integrate it into your app or website, run it on your computer or your own local device. So let's just try this one. You need to install the inference server. Then you will have a local server, which you can send requests to in the exact same way as if you have deployed it in any cloud or on this serverless API that we have. So this is all you need. Drop it into your Python code. You print the results and then you can extract the exact same values as we get in the output. So that will be right now, that will be our RoboFlow upload message. <coughs> And our output image, you can also add additional outputs. So that could, for example, be the same predictions. Then we get directly the predictions as output, the upload message if it has successfully uploaded to RoboFlow so we can start build out our data set. And that's pretty much everything that we need. We save our workflow, it will be updated. It will also be updated on your server instantly. Definitely going to check out this tool here. It's brand new. It's only going to get better over time. You can use it on your own stuff. Upload a data set, train small models that you can run real-time inference on. In some of the other videos on my channel, I cover all the workflows, all the individual blocks, how we can configure the input, output, all this hosting, how do we act like set it up on our own local computer, how do we use the workflows here that we built in the UI, how do we use it on our computer, then we can just go back and forth and make updates, we just save it in here, deploy our workflow, and then two seconds after we can use it in our own Python script. So make sure to check that video out. Then we have the full pipeline that you need to know. This is how you build a computer vision system in just minutes. Then it's all about running inference, building out a data set over time and applying the business logic on top of it. Hope you learned a ton. Definitely go and check it out. Everything will be down in the description. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.